All right, I gotta figure out a way to get over to that phone. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Well, what do you know? It's my little rat friend again. Maybe he can help me in some way. Oh, my finger is getting tired. Oh, but I don't dare drop my glass of inspiration. <laughs> you got strong lift in this thing. Maybe she could pick it up and bring me over there. Oh, type, type. I must type faster! Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't! I'm a married woman! And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer! I'm ready to abdicate it all for you! Even if it means my ultimate ruination! Hmm... Ruination? Is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. I see she graduated from the Stephanie Maya School of Writing. Where's that dictionary? Ah! Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Little rat. That's right, carry me over to the table. That's ruining my fun. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Mama. Perhaps my darling angel? Or some devil in this case. <laughs> Mama. What is it, my darling angel? Ow! Oh, my head hurts, Mama. You poor dear, and no wonder, with a fever of a hundred and two. Here is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my Prime Minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute! I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? That especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Cheers, love. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. <laughs> Mama, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels, and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. <laughs> Here's to the impetuousness of you. How the hell are those two related? Either the mother dyed her hair, or that kid's adopted. Oh my, the lamp is out. <sighs> Come on. They light my fire. Holy shit, did she just light a match with her ass? God damn. She brought this dictionary all the way over here to look something up. Here regardless, here it sits, all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look up anything in the first place. Hmm. Is it regardless really a word? Well, I am in a dictionary, might as well look it up. My darling lady, to think that you are a spy all along! What are you going to do to me, Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. 
your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion! Oh, Mr. Prime Minister! Oh, my dear lady! Hmm, I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. All right. No pit is not a word. According to Merriam-Webster, it is, in fact, not a word. It's just a non-standard way of saying regardless. Ah, what is going on? Ah, I made a typo. All right, I still need to get over to that phone. Wait, you're throwing away a draft. Can I get on that? Yes, I can. Come on, give me that pitcher's throw. There we go. Hello? Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! <sighs> Let me talk to Emily at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares! I want to talk to Papa! No, you don't. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please wait a minute! Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Oy, looks like somebody's having marriage troubles. Here's to caller ID. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband. But I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. I wonder how long I can wriggle like this before they notice me. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. A murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me! <laughs> It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp, for God's sake. Mm, I'd better see what I can find out. Quite a thing, huh, this case. What do you think, Detective Payne? Yeah, one of our own. A murderer? Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was... special. 
She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me? Like me. Alright, let's visit the troubled man. God knows a guy like that could use some attention. Are you all right, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me! I beg your pardon, sir! Well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh, boy. Another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. saying something, but I can't hear him from here. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring this stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm. Don't see what that has to do with me. I don't know, Detective Payne. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. It doesn't sit right with me. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Ching ching, baby. Ah, the tension of a crime scene. Yeah. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Damn, sir! Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Uh, allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit? He seems... uh... unique. There's no way this blue doctor guy's on the up and up. He looks just like all the other Smurfs. Deal with the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fella. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Guardian of the park, no! How absolutely rude. Ugh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Ugh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Now 
Now then, Your Honor, I mean, Inspector Cabanella, if I may make my report, sir. Duck! Yoo-hoo! Oh, duck! <gasps> uh, you, you're talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir! I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, huh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go in and be the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir. And there he goes, walking his funky walk. Off to traumatize so many little children. What's this lever do? It appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of the two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Oh, take this! Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! Uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now, I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. Uh, no, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy. All right, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young, and so are we! Oh, man. Huh! So, you hang out in the park and talk crazy talk often? I think we can pretty simply assume this was the murder weapon. Probably because it's the only weapon here. Oh, no. That pistol. Yeah, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? I better update this. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before. That's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... Yeah, Doom Tom! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I, I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a lawyer, I mean, detective guy thing. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. I'm Winston Payne, bitch. Well, guess that proves it's a real gun. What was that? Is that what I think it was? It's the sound of progress, mine friend. Yeah! <laughs> Winston got a bad here. feeling about no, this. Gasping. Every Winston. time that phone rings, it's bad no, news. Not crying. It's like That's that old sister. riddle. Which Winston. came first? The ringing Winston of the phone Payne. or the crime case? Uh, if you say so. Shit. That's the sound of another gun. I don't like the sound of that. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? 
Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? I'm Winston Payne, bitch! Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again! <laughs> yes, sir! I'll send him right up, sir. Please, Doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately! <sighs> if I must. Let's do a project. project.